Singapore Airlines, yeah, they're apologizing this morning after severe turbulence on a flight resulted in one person's death and dozens of injuries. The Boeing 777 was on its way from London to Singapore when it hit an air pocket, launching some passengers and crew members into the ceiling. A 73-year-old man was killed. It's not clear when or if the seatbelt sign was ever turned on. Meteorologist Marielle Ruiz joins us now to explain what causes turbulence. Not all turbulence is created equal. Generally, flights take place in the jet stream, and when a flight is in place, air flows smoothly around the plane. This is most cases, but we have something called thermal turbulence. This is when rising and sinking air, usually found near thunderstorms, causes the plane to shift. We also have something called mechanical turbulence. This caused by rising and sinking air, around and over mountains. Generally, you'll feel this if you are flying into Denver International Airport. And then there's this one, clear air turbulence. This one has no visible signs, which makes it the most dangerous, and it's caused by air moving at widely different speeds, generally when we have jet streams during certain types of seasons and in certain types of climates.